All right, all aboard the Goodyear blimp. Lucky passengers score a once in a lifetime opportunity to float above the Southern California coast. How cool is that? <laughs> and our Kim Baldonado was right there with him. She gives us this rare look inside. Although the Goodyear blimp is one of the most recognizable sights in the sky, the airship still holds a fascination 95 years after it first launched. Kind of a bucket list thing that I never really thought would happen, but. Here I am, and it's amazing. She landed a coveted ride on the Goodyear blimp by bidding on a charity auction, as did Don Down's husband. It's amazing. Better than I ever expected. It's really great. We joined them on Wingfoot 3, which has a loo with the view as it flew over South Bay beaches. It's like flight floating in a bubble. You know, it's, you see how serene, it's kind of quiet. You, uh, it's moving slow, so you get to enjoy the scenery, you know. Low and slow is how pilot William Bayless describes the blimp, which travels about 35 miles per hour, 1,500 feet in the air. You almost feel weightless, but because it's moving slow, so it's just an unreal, surreal feeling. The technology has come a long way since Goodyear's first publicity helium filled blimp back in 1925. Landings are much calmer now, and the small gondolas have given way to larger ones with seating for 10. Bearing the recognizable logo. Designed as a marketing tool for the tire company, the blimps were intended to be used as a common form of travel. The idea of ships in the sky didn't pan out, but Goodyear found other uses. From the Rose Bowl to the Brickyard 400. For 65 years, the blimp has provided live aerial coverage of the biggest sports and entertainment events. Because at one time, blimp photography was done by hanging the camera out the side of the gondola window. Cameras are now half the weight and mounted outside, but the gondola windows still open, giving passengers easy access to spectacular views now captured on smartphones. It's better than I thought. I mean, I, I love it. I don't want it to land. <laughs> Sentiments like that are one of the reasons why Pilot Bayless says he switched from flying airplanes to flying blimps. Passengers are always happy on this aerial ambassador. On board Wingfoot 3, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.